Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to another FNAF 2's review where today we're going to be taking a look at the Springtrap U2's figure. This was suggested in my last review video that I did. Now someone commented that they wanted to see a review on this figure right here. So thank you for the comment and suggestion. These are still available to buy on U2's.com. So I'll leave a link down below in the description to the website. And with that all out of the way, let's get right into this review. We'll take a look at the sleeve in the box and then we'll take a look at the actual figure and then at the end of the video I'll give my overall thoughts and opinions. So the front of the sleeve here we have a picture of Springtrap with a colour of a uh, purple kind of faded into a black sort of colour with the top being purple and it fades down to a black with a shadow of Springtrap just behind him. We've got a YouTube logo at the bottom corner here and then we've got the title for Springtrap at the top. And then this side of the sleeve we have uh, some details with the checkered ball pattern for the uh, the pizzeria location and we have a poster of Freddy, Bonnie and Chica on the side. On this side we have another picture of Springtrap but it's like a silhouette of him we've just seen his eyes with more of the pizzeria uh, <laughs> walls behind him but uh, I wish this was different. Now these are the older sleeve designs where they have just a picture or the silhouette of the character not so you can see the figure. I wish this one was the FNAF 3 location because that's where, you know, Springtrap was in the game. And this one this is based off is FNAF 3. I only wish that this was more FNAF 3 kind of style, but in the future we will be getting the uh, the Phantom ones hopefully, so we will get a different sleeve design. But I just wish with this figure we did get that kind of style with it. But on this side we have a picture of Bonnie saying at Let's Rock, and then we have some more checkered wall patterns on there. And on this side, we're back to the front again. And then at the top of the box, we have another picture of Springtrap with the purple kind of background to it. So let's remove the sleeve and take a look at the details on the actual box. Now that we have the sleeve removed, we can now fully see the details on the actual box. So you have Springtrap just in the box there, reaching forward, we've seen all his teeth. We have another picture of Springtrap just here with the title of the figure. And then we have the number of the figure, number 14, and the U2's logo at the top. On this side, we have uh, some details here saying, I always come back at the bottom, a classic. And then the back of the box here, we've got some more details. Now, this is the FNAF 3 location. These are the details of the actual FNAF 3 location. And it says at the top here, was that a child I just heard? Obviously, when you use the Hi. Zoom Boy uh, sound, Swing Trap is um, lured towards that location. So we've got like the, the corridor, we've got the decorations with the camera kind of looking over it with the monitors kind of fuzzing, kind of looking to it, or the static. And we've got another picture of Springtrap with some like grayish details in the back. I'm pretty sure that is the vent that we're looking at here, or the vent kind of like dust around the side. With it like black on the top and like fades down or like lights up, so you can see like, the light kind of details looks really good. And then this side, we're back to the front again. So let's open up this box and take a look at the actual figure. And with all the packaging removed, here is the Springtrap U2's figure. I really do love this figure with all the details it has, but there are some details they did miss with uh, with like the inside the arms and the leg with the, you know, the endoskeleton, actually Springlock suit inside and some of the flesh details I wish they included. But overall, it is a really good looking figure. I love this one. He's doing the, the uh, reaching out and put a hand behind there so it focuses a bit more. He's doing like a reach out sort of pose towards you and him stepping forward. I love the pose that he has. He has the, the yellow teeth. He's got white eyes, which look great. He's got like the broken off ear just at the top there. He's got like the, the feet here with... Now at the bottom of Springtrap feet, you can see like some of his guts or his intestines is like dropping down to his feet here and it's like coming up to the bottom there on the actual character. But they've just done like red kind of details for the bottom of his feet there, trying to get a, a better look for you at the actual figure there. Which is a really good figure. That's the only thing I feel like they missed was actually the flesh kind of details underneath the spring lock suit or under the, the yellow rabbit spring trap suit is some of the flesh kind of details. 
but I really do like the actual outer casing for the character. Uh, and all the colour, the green colour just looks great on him. On the back there, it is kind of plain, I feel, on the back. There's no, like, any more cutting out details or look of any, like, the Springlock suit actually on it. It's just the plain colour green. I wish they put some more details on the back of him. But on this side, we can see another uh, side of him with some more of the details and the wiring sort of details coming out of the side of his head, which look really, really good. Overall, I really do love this figure. It is a great looking figure. I just uh, wish that they put more detail into the actual flesh, like I said. And I can't wait for him to do the Phantom Animatronics to also release with this so we can have the full FNAF 3 uh, set all together. We're just waiting for the Phantom one to release. But overall, I really do love this figure. Oh yeah, got to mention, it comes with a base. I'm not really tried it without the base. Just stand up. Oh no, oh, he does stand up. He's a little bit wobbly. But uh, yeah, he does stand up, so if you want the base on him, or you want to remove it, he can stand up on his own, like that, which does look really good. Obviously, they did miss some details, like inside the jaw, they could have done, you know, his actual jaw inside, but it's just black in there. There's no details in there, it's just plain black, seeing his teeth. But uh, yeah, that's the only thing I wish they did was some more kind of details inside to see an actual William Afton inside. But overall, really good figure and I would highly recommend it. And there you have it guys, that was the review for the Springtrap U2's figure. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, these are still available on U2's.com. So if you're interested, I will leave a link down below in the description. A like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next video.